All right, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy guys on DJ, aka God in the Wax, bringing you another video. So uh, this time, real quick, I wanted to talk about uh, this this uh, DJM S11 plate from 12 inch skins. I've had this for a minute. If you've seen my videos where I show my DJ mixer, my S11 mixer, you've seen this plate on there pretty much from Jump Street when I got this S11. Uh, the reason I got it was because uh, like after a few weeks of getting the S11, the top plate, this plate here, was already kind of getting discolored and, and looking weird, uh, which, you know, the S9, the DJM S9, the predecessor to the S11, it was known for paint chipping off and coming off, you know, when you're uh, using the cross fader and even the up faders in a lot of instances for DJs who use the up faders a lot, the paint would come off and then, you know, it would look all uh, messed up and things like that. So I wanted to kind of get ahead of the game and just get this top plate. I think it was like 125 at the time. This is like a year or two ago, maybe two, even longer than that. When I first got the S11, I got this top plate. And uh, it's been good so far, but uh, you know, it's really well made. It's made of metal or, you know, a big metal construction. Comes with metal screws, uh, you know, with the top plate has graphics that will be on the normal s11 like the smooth echo sample effects wake up pioneer dj the, the q and the master uh, it comes with a little uh insert for the uh vu meter so you know uh it comes with like a, a clear plastic little card that goes in there slides in there. i wish i could have took it off and showed you but uh you know the graphics are good but what i will say is that like this magville fader pro since I use the crossfader so much, it's already scratching off. Uh, a couple of these hash marks where the crossfader is, is already scratched off. So it's kind of the same situation where like, when I first saw this, I thought they had laser etched all this stuff into the mixer, but apparently it's like a graphic or something they, they print onto it. It's not laser etched into it. So uh, you kind of have the same effect. So, uh, it's just a matter for you whether you want to deal with the silver one like this one you know kind of scratching off where it says magville pro and the hash marks and things like that or you want the black uh, s11 uh, face plate uh, to kind of get the paint chipped off of it now this is a lot better than paint chipping off all around the crossfader just the wording and stuff coming off uh, but like I said, when I first saw this, I thought they had laser etched all of this stuff into the into the metal plate, so you didn't have to worry about that, but apparently that's not the case. I'm kind of disappointed with that, but it is what it is. Uh, but other than that, it's very well made, feels good, uh, looks good with the silver and black, and then I got the silver and black of the, uh, you know, the uh, Reloop 7000 Mark IIs next to it, silver and black all across the turntable itself. Uh, so it's a good motif going on there. <clears throat> Excuse me, but yeah, I mean it's a it's a good face plate. Uh, but yeah, I really wish that twelve inch skins would have laser etched all of this stuff into the. Like, see, like I just scratched off that D in DJM. Uh, I guess it's not you know it's like a, a ink print on it or something like that. Why they didn't laser engrave it, I don't know. I guess it's probably more expensive to do, and it probably would have cost a lot more to uh to sell the the face plate but uh i guess just the different words coming off does look better than the entire area of paint coming off you know on the black face plate so uh but anyway that's it for the video I, I do recommend this uh 12 inch skins uh face plate regardless it's a very well made face plate uh, it feels really sturdy you know uh it takes the plastic construction of the s11 and gives you some metal pieces to it uh, you know, you can set stuff on top of this without worrying about anything. And like I said, it's definitely well made. It's a metal faceplate, so it's definitely well made. But I really wish, I mean, I wonder if I could maybe take the plate off and get it laser engraved somewhere, if they could do something like that for me. But I don't know, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely a dope faceplate, well made. And, uh, yeah, I highly recommend you pick one up for your DJM S11. Anyway, sorry for the rambling. Uh, just kind of going on, trying to get a video up on my channel. It's been a while since I posted something, so 
Uh, I'm going to try to put up a few more videos this weekend uh, just to get the channel going. I would like to get my channel popping off a little bit better, but it's hard. We're working, things like that. So anyway, that's it for the video. Have a good one. Peace out. Later.